he always felt good when he was coming into the locker room as your starting pitcher. John's the kind of guy that he knew his compete level, you knew what his stuff was, you knew, you know, any given night he had the ability to go out there and, and dominate a game. Another strikeout for Smoltz, another strikeout for John Smoltz. Man of the hour tonight of John Smoltz. But there was just something about those big games, whether it be down the stretch or in, in a postseason environment, that seemed to bring out the best in him. Good evening, everyone. They're going for all the marbles here tonight in Pittsburgh. Knowing John and being around John, you just you can just sense that look in his eye, kind of that sense about him of the urgency as to what we were doing, and you know it was it was his game to win, and he was going to go out there and he was going to take it, and nothing was going to come against his way. kind of guy, he would bet you whether the sun was going to come up in the morning. I mean, it's just, he was. If you challenge him to do something, he's going to believe that he can do it until he proves to himself that he can. He didn't care what anybody else says. Yeah, it was the same way on the golf course. You know, if he was having a brutal, brutal round of golf or, or front nine, he'd, he'd be the first to stand on the on the 10th tee and say, okay, boys, I'm going to shoot four under on the back. What are my odds? In his mind, he could flip the switch and he could do it. So that was just kind of his personality, and I think it's what made him tick. Brings on the closer of the race, John Smoltz. Well, you know his story. He was a starter and went to the bullpen, and boy, he has done some job. It was like any other challenge uh, that faced John. He was going to face it head on, and he was going to go out there, and he was going to become good at it. Just so happened he, during the time frame that he was a closer, he was one of the best in the game. Smoltz strikes out the side in the bottom half of the ninth inning, this time saving it for Tom Glavin. There's something about those last three outs of the game that are different than any others. For John, A, he had the stuff to do it, but he had the mentality to do it. Like I said, he wasn't fearful of anything. It was as close to automatic as you were going to get. You saw him coming in, and it was, this is all but over. John Smoltz has a new National League record. That is his 54th save of the year. I obviously felt John was the first ballot Hall of Famer because I know what he was and what he meant to us. I know how difficult it was to do what he did at the level that he did it. I mean, he was one of the best starting pitchers in the game when he did that. John Smoltz has 200 wins. He was one of the best closers in the game when he did that. A ball game is over. John Smoltz gets a four-out save. As his teammate, as his friend, he was as good as there was at what he did. And, you know, it's really, really cool that you know, whenever anybody talks about the Braves, it's Clavin Maddox, Smoltz, Smoltz, Clavin Maddox. You know, whatever combination you want to put us in, they always talk about the three of us. And now for the three of us to be enshrined at Cooperstown together, it's a pretty cool ending place. Hall of Fame, it's my honor, John, to welcome you into the Hall of Fame family and to ask Commissioner Manfred to read the inscription on your plaque. John Andrew Smoltz, Atlanta National League, 1988 through 99 and 2001 through 2008. Boston, American League, 2009. St. Louis, National League 2009. A workhorse power pitcher traded his starting dominance to develop into a premier closer before returning to the rotation. Became the first player in history with 200 wins and 150 saves. With a dynamic fastball, a deceptive slider, and a darting splitter, fanned 3,084 batters and was named to eight all-star teams. The 1996 National League Cy Young Award winner and 1992 NLCS MVP set the National League record with 55 saves in 2002. Pitched best when the game was the biggest, recording a 15-4 postseason record, helping the Braves to win the 1995 World Series title. 